Say good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys what my daughter Summer eats in a day. You wanna get down and play? Okay, go ahead. I thought it would be interesting or just helpful to see what a one-year-old eats in a day. If you're a first-time mom like me, I know like when we really started tr to transition from all milk or formula to food, I was always worried that she wasn't getting enough. Your child may eat way more than summer, way less. I feel like as long as their weight is good and they're growing and healthy, then it doesn't really matter. But I thought that this could maybe give you guys some ideas for healthy foods for toddlers that are super easy because I have a lot of very quick foods and like meals that I put together for her because when she's hungry, like she just wants to eat. I mean, don't we all? <laughs> I hope that this is helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you have a toddler and what their favorite food is. So first thing in the morning, whenever Summer wakes up, she does have a bottle. So I will just show you that. I didn't think to film that part. I guess I could have, but um, we use the Tommy Tippy bottle still. This is like the largest nipple size, but she, I fill it up to the eight ounce mark and that's all she drank this morning. Normally, <laughs> she's playing with the dog. Summer, be gentle. Hey, gentle, gentle. <laughs> Poor doggy. She does still let me feed her the bottle, which I love. I'm not in a rush to like have her feed herself. Um, so we have that, and then I always leave out some apple juice and water for her. I just do like half and half. Use these three 60 cups. These are from Target. Munchkin also has some, but I like the patterns on these. Uh, she could not suck hard enough on this until maybe a couple months ago. So I want to show you guys, for those of you who have maybe younger babies or the 360 cups aren't working for you, I'm going to show you a couple other alternatives because it did take us some time for those to work. So she started with this Nuck cup and I love this. She loves it too, but it does spill, um, whereas the 360 cups really don't spill. Um, but then my little mom hack was I would give her this Gatorade bottle. So it's kind of ingenious because these don't spill unless you like suck or squeeze. So she did that for the longest time, but now we just do the 360 cups. Are you hungry? What she's been liking is croissants. <laughs> um, so I give her about like half of this croissant. And since she was, I don't know, a year old, she has, oh, 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 okay. She has loved bananas. So I only give her half of a banana because they can tend to constipate. And I do cut it lengthwise in half. And I'm going to get her started with that because she's really hungry. And then I'll show you what else I give her. I put her in front of an episode of Blue's Clues in her right chair for breakfast. It just helps her just eat and relax. Otherwise, she's constantly on the move or like wanting to get out of her right chair. So that's what we do. So she has half of her banana. I'm gonna give her this piece of croissant. She'll just like bite at it. Say thank you. Da. Thank you. Da. She says da for thank you. I don't know why. So she has her apple juice. She's already worked on her banana and she's gonna eat that croissant. And then she's also been loving these hash browns. I love them because they're cauliflower. So it gets in some vegetables for her and I've tasted them. They're so good. So even for like you, if you want a healthier alternative to hash browns, I would recommend these. They're the Strong Roots brand. I just cut it into six pieces and I let it cool off obviously before I give it to her. And she eats one of these every morning with her banana and normally something else like her croissant. And if she's really hungry, I will also give her a clementine. How you doing, sweets? 
So she's eaten her hash brown now. She loves those. Um, her banana's gone. She's worked on her uh, croissant. And I did want to mention, this is the bib I normally use. She's generally pretty um, like neat with the breakfast foods I give her. If we do spaghetti or noodles of any kind, I definitely put this on her. This is Mushy, I think, is the brand. I'll link it down below along with anything else I mention. The height chair is from Amazon, and I think it's about $100. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, I don't know. I just really like how it looks. It folds up easy. We take it with us whenever we go to my parents or something like that. Uh, so I will link that down below as well. Oh, we forgot to pray. Should we pray for our food? Over our food? Should we pray over our food? Can you say, dear Jesus, thank you for this food. Bless it to our bodies. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay, so I figured I should probably show you like what's left just so you have an idea of how much she actually ate. So... We have a couple pieces of banana left and some of her croissant, but most of the banana's gone. Mm. Her whole hash brown's gone. I know, are you all done? Oh, yeah, yeah. All done, okay. You did good, sweets. Yeah. You did good. <laughs> Does anyone else give their toddler scraps to their dog? Cause we do. Another thing I wanna show you since it goes along with her high chair and like eating and everything is how I clean it. I've been using the Thieves uh, spray from Young Living. This came in my starter kit as a sample and I really love it. I'm definitely gonna be purchasing the whole Thieves kit probably next month. But the reason I'm sharing this is because it is completely non-toxic and I love it for cleaning her high chair and it will, will not harm her at all if any residue is left on this part. So I'm just gonna wipe it down right now with this. It also smells so, so good. It smells like Christmas. So it's a great little bundle to get, especially for this time of year. If you're interested, I will always have uh, info on Young Living down, <laughs> down in my description bar in case you're interested. Okay, so we're going on a little trip. I have to run an errand. So this is gonna be Summer's snack. She has goldfish. I almost always have goldfish for her in the car. And then I brought her apple juice and water. Um, little tip, I know, we're almost going. Um, I always keep this container of goldfish in here for the week so I can constantly refill it. Creates a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Yeah, so we're gonna get going and that's our snack before we have lunch. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Get your juice. We're gonna bring your juice in. And we're gonna make lunch. Do you want lunch? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Dada. What'd you say? Dada. Dada. Dada does at work. Mm. Yeah, Dada does at work. Mm. And then after work, he has to help. He has Dada. has to help Dada. Grandpa Leo. Oop. So it's gonna be mommy and you for dinner too. Yeah, I'm gonna go have lunch though. Here we go. Let's go make you lunch, okay? So we're not gonna have rice. Um, we're gonna have, oh my gosh, my freezer's a mess. We're gonna have veggie burger. So these are the Wegmans ones. If you don't have, a Wegmans, this is the other brand I get, but she does not like these as much. So this is just the garden medley one. I'm gonna cook one of these up on the stove and then she will probably have some cucumber and olives with it and maybe some grapes. I will show you guys when it's all done. You ready for lunch? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Here is her lunch without the turkey, or not turkey burger, veggie burger. It's still cooking. Um, I sliced the Whoa. black olives in half and the grapes in half, and then I sliced the cucumbers mm -hmm. in long, thin sticks without the skin. Mm -hmm. She does not like the skin. Are you hungry? Would you like to start? Can you say please? Okay, here we go. I'm going to let her get started um, because she's hungry. So. 
Yum, yum. So I can guarantee you the olives will be gone. <laughs> um, I need to put her bib on her because she tends to shove so many olives in her mouth that black juice comes down her face. So I'm gonna put her bib on. What are these plates from? Rec play? I don't know. Um, I think they're made out of like recycled plastic, but they come in a set of three. And we also have the bowls, so I will find them and link them down below. Uh, she does pretty well with them now. When she was younger, I would just throw the food on her tray here like I did for breakfast, but sometimes I'll give her the plate. I think it's nice to kind of like separate out each little food. Okay, so here's your veggie burger. I normally cut it in half and then cut it into little triangles. These are actually really good. Sometimes I have one too. Also, sometimes what I'll do, oops, sorry. Sometimes what I'll do is throw this now into the fridge to cool it faster. That's like a little quick tip. So I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge and give it to her in like 30 seconds. But I think, okay, would you like to get down and play? I got Okay, all done, all right. As promised, all the olives are gone. She didn't eat as much burger. Um, but she ate a ton of her cucumber, so. You're a Greek goddess today. All right, all right. It's gonna be okay. Have some patience, sweetheart. Okay, so Summer is waking up from her nap. I give her a bottle after her nap. She normally, I'd say in the last month or so, doesn't really drink much of it, but I still just offer it to her and then I will give her a snack um, probably grapes and goldfish maybe and then we'll have dinner in like three hours not even so yeah so she'll just have her milk and a snack and then we'll have dinner loving these dried blueberries. They look like this. Um, they definitely have some added sugar though, so I'm gonna give her a few. And then I'll give her more goldfish. And I'm gonna cut up some grapes too. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna give her a clementine because she didn't have one of these in the morning and she normally does, so I think she'll like this better. I just give her like half pieces. You want a snack? Can you say please? Da. Da. Okay, what you gonna pick first? I vote for blueberry. Yep. Ooh. Okay, let's go put this on the table. Okay, I'll put it there. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna be making one of the recipes that is in my cookbook, my fall cookbook that I released. So um, there will be details in the description bar if you wanna get your hands on the cookbook. There's five recipes and they're all sort of fall themed. So I'm gonna be doing a little spin off of one of those recipes. Uh, and it is spaghetti parm. Spaghetti parm, which if you don't know what that is, um, I think it's more of like a local thing. I'm from Western New York, and I think it's more of a local thing. You want you want some clementine? Okay, I think she wants a snack. Okay, so here are the ingredients I use. I want to mention this because it's a really good tip for a toddler. I use veggie spaghetti to get some extra vegetables into her. And then I use this type of tomato. Um, okay. 
What you doing? We use this kind of jarred tomato. It's literally just, why isn't it focusing? Hello? Focus, focus. Okay, it is literally just organic tomatoes. I don't know, excuse me. I don't know what passata, I guess it just means strained tomatoes. I don't know, but even like jarred, jarred tomato puree has sodium in it. So I try to keep her sodium way down. Um, excuse me. Would you like another clementine? Summer. Would you like another piece of clementine? Can you please say please? Thank you. And say thank you. Okay. Yeah, play in the Tupperware cabinet. So anyways, we use this because it has no sodium in it, which I really, really like. And then I just add my own stuff. You can use jarred sauce, but there's just a lot of added stuff in there that's not as good. So I add black pepper, onion powder, oregano, garlic powder, basil, and a little bit of salt, just a little. Uh, and that will be her meal. And then I'm gonna make spaghetti parm, which I just mentioned for Nick and I from the leftover. Me, 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 me. From the leftover spaghetti. What? Okay, we're very unhappy. Um, her ear infection is back. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that she's had an ear infection. So she's very cranky. Um, so that's why. But normally Nick is home so that I can make dinner and he plays with her, but he has something to do after work, so it's just me. Um, so, um, yeah, she's batting at her ear because it hurts. Today, John. Are we happy now? Okay, so here is summer spaghetti with just a very light amount of sauce. She'll probably eat like half of this. I'm just gonna throw it down on her uh, tray on her high chair. She's eating away at some of the clementines um, and then this will probably be it. I may give her a little piece of bread. Sometimes she likes to have a little piece of bread with dinner. Should we pray? Can we say, dear Jesus, thank you for this food. Bless it to my body. Amen. Can you say amen? I know you can. Oh, you're hungry, huh? Mm. She will get a bottle before bedtime. I'm not going to show that just because it's like during our bedtime routine and I'm not prepared to film that. I may end up doing like a bed bedtime routine for a toddler. Let me know if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, she'll just get a bottle. She normally will drink like five ounces or something like that. Um, but this is what Little Miss Summer eats in a day. <laughs> yeah, yummy. Um, let me know if you have any other video ideas. I love you guys all so, so much. Don't we, Summer? We love you and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? <laughs>